dress to impress, or at least to stop you getting nicked for indecent exposure. Watch while I strip the Goomobile's tyres naked, then use a few of what I consider to be the best natural look products to dress each of them up in a 50-50 fashion. Gion Q2 Tyre, CarPro Pearl, Auto Finesse Satin and G-Technic T1 were the dressings I'd be using here. And while there's plenty of others out there, these four most accurately represent the kind of thing I use on a regular basis. In order to get the best out of a tyre dressing, the rubber it's going to be coming into contact with has to be thoroughly cleaned first. And while I did give these tyres what I generally consider to be an acceptable level of clean with a diluted all-purpose cleaner from Auto Smart and a stiff bristled brush from Tough Shine, if you do happen to see any unsightly dirt transfer during the dressing then that's because there was some, but don't hold a lack of in-depth decontamination against me as this was a relatively impromptu video. Perhaps I could do a dedicated tyre cleaning one at some point showing the level of grime that can sometimes be extracted from tyres as it's not something I often bother filming. Once cleaned, you then want to ensure the now naked tyres are bone dry. I prefer to sponge on tyre dressings and currently favour the orange tough shine applicators, but with mine being well past it and no fresh ones in stock at the time, I decided to use some Dodo Juice Finger Mitt Wax applicators instead, as I just feel most other dedicated tyre dressing sponges are either too firm or too bulky. Granted, the soft foam these are made from wouldn't last long on tyres, but for a single use I thought they could work well. First up for the front offside tyre then was some Auto Finesse Satin Tyre Cream, and as the name suggests its creamy consistency is intended to impart a nice satin sheen. Once a liberal amount had been applied onto my finger mitt, it was dabbed onto the surface of the tyre wall before being thoroughly worked into it. Now, it certainly isn't the quickest product to apply as it really has to be massaged in to ensure even coverage, but I am a fan of the finish it gives, so I'm usually happy to invest a good 5 to 10 minutes per tyre in order to achieve it. Once worked in, the tyre was then buffed over with a dry microfiber towel to remove any excess product and leave a nice dry to the touch finish which was a significant improvement over the unrejuvenated rubber. The remaining side was then dressed in the same manner to finish things off, as heading out in public half dressed obviously wouldn't be wise.
Next up on the rear was Carpro Pearl, a well-respected and versatile water-based silicon oxide coating that can also be used on plastics, trim and even leather. It can be applied neat to things like tyres, but if you want to achieve a more natural look, it's probably worth diluting down a bit. The milky looking product is quite the opposite of the cream used earlier, and while it doesn't immediately bring about a finished result, once thoroughly worked over the surface and left to soak in, leaves tyres looking rich and replenished. If you've never used this product to dress tyres before, I'd advise going with the 1 to 1 dilution ratio. However, you can always try one tyre neat first and then go from there if you prefer. After quickly flipping the car around, it was then time to treat the front near side tyre with some G-Technic T1. This product has a runny gel like consistency which is designed to give a satin sheen with a single coat and a glossier appearance with multiple ones. It goes on really nicely with minimal reapplication needed and works its way into the texture of the tyre wall without making a mess which is always nice. did leave a considerably shinier appearance than the previous two products, even after being buffed, and while it's a lot more durable than its water-based sister product T2, you might want to give that a go if this looks a tad too glossy for your tyre finishing tastes. Last but by no means least was Gion Q2 tyre, another silicon oxide based coating formulated to give at least a month's durability even in poor conditions. It has a similar consistency to the T1 applied previously so application isn't usually an issue, it smells pretty sweet and if the bump is to be believed molecularly bonds with your rubber as opposed to just temporarily sitting on the surface of it.
Again, it looked quite shiny on my tyres in the direct sun, but if you want decent durability, sometimes a bit of gloss is unavoidable. Once all the dressing was complete, a quick spritz helped to illustrate the level of water repellency on each tyre, and while this doesn't really prove anything, it's uh, still satisfying to see. So, to quickly conclude then, Auto Finesse Satin, while a bit of a faff to fully apply, does give a superb satin finish once properly worked in and buffed over. Car Pro Pearl is my go-to product if I feel I need to save some time but achieve a similar finish, and of course you have the added bonus of being able to dilute to suit. G-Technic T1 has a nice gel-like consistency which allows you to dress most types of tyre with ease and gives a clearly defined durable finish. And finally, the silicon oxide based Gion Q2 tyre offers a lot more than your standard silicon based dressings and is definitely worthy of consideration. Before signing off, it's probably worth me stating that every tyre dresses slightly differently. The side wall design, tread pattern and rubber compound all contribute to a dressing's look and durability. So if you see the results achieved here and don't particularly like them, that doesn't necessarily mean it would be the same for you. So don't completely write any particular product off without first giving it a go. Do let me know your go-to tyre dressings and preferred application techniques, soft wax applicators or not, and I'll catch you again with another summer video soon.